guys, it's Googly again with another video and uh, this time I got something like it's a ROM but it's also a Magis module. It's for the OnePlus 7 Pro so stay tuned for that. <laughs> So guys, the Magisk ROM thing has been getting popular with devices now and uh, to be extremely honest, I kind of like it because you get the stability and everything of the stock Oxygen OS or any other stock ROM with these additional features, uh, tweaks and uh, a lot of things with that. So I'm really happy with that. This is one such ROM. It's called the Weta OS or Weta ROM version 6.0 for Oxygen OS 9511. Let's get started. It's going to be more of a installation guide and kind of an overview of it because I want to show you guys how to install this one also because not just ROMs, man, they are very easy to install. You don't have to worry too much about that. So let's get started. First of all, you will need to get the zip file from the link in the description go to the forum search around you will get the version 6 of it that is the one which is compatible with the 9511 which is the latest version of oxygen OS we have right now once you have it on your storage go to magisk of course from the name magisk rom it needs to have magisk so there is no getting around it you will need to have root this is how you install it first of all go to magisk manager and then go to the modules folder as you can see i already have busybox installer busybox is something important if you want to use uh, a few of the features which is available with Weta. I'm not really sure why it is not included with Weta uh, zip file already but it is what it is. Let's go to the plus sign and then find your Weta installer uh, zip file. So as you can see I have the Weta M version 6.0. It is a 176 megabyte file. Just click on it and it will show you the instructions and the flashing stuff. You will need to input a few methods. So it shows me volume key test. Press the volume key. Let's see that. Okay, I've just pressed it. Extracting module files. Now these are the options which you have. Do you want the audio mods? Now the audio mods in this available or uh, Wiper for Android is available. X Hi-Fi options are available and also it contains the Atmos Dolby options which is really cool so you can select what all you want volume up for yes volume down for no I'm gonna select everything so volume up is I do you want the Viper for Android yes please I do want that select the Viper for Android version now there is an option for 271 and also I believe it is 2505 now I want the latest version let's go with volume up and that is there do I want Viper for Android hex hi-fi option yes I do want that also volume plus and then you have the Dolby digital plus option yes I do want that too and now it is all installing these are the options which are available you can select and mix and match between them so it does work out really well now after you have done that you will be asked to reboot it you just want to click on reboot and it will reboot so now I have magisk installed it is available now uh, let's just check on it and uh, the magisk manager option you can see that in the modules it is available so as you can see Weta 6.0 has been installed how will you access the extra settings and all that now if you go to the about phone page you will find that the build number is now Weta 6.0 by this guy who is a developer of it awesome job here for oxygen os 9511 now let's get to the extra features most of the extra features are inside the Weta mod application which is available here so click on that to see what are available now you will have to grant root access of course it is a root rom now extra options are inside of these things now it does have a settings menu to select a few things here application helps style and theming if you want the dark option in this one it does have that now we get with the options available with this ROM now first of all is the audio options you have options to enable all the things which you have installed now if you want to use these stuff but you want to disable others you can do that you will have to install this from this option to use Viper for Android in the other option so that is something there which I will get Let's just activated as of now and uh, you will probably have to enable or disable the stuff which you don't want after using it for a while people may have preferred with that so just letting you guys know what all they are so aptx hd is also something which i really like so it have enabled that now that is the audio mods now audio mods are installed as a proper application as you can see dolby digital plus is now available you can enable that and it should work decently well now you can also use it as you should or as you want to depending on what the situation is or depending on what you want to do with the device or what you want to do with your audio options but it is available apart from that you also have the wiper for android 
Android uh, Viper X Hi-Fi option. It has already installed the drivers for it, so it is working now. You just may need to update it once or twice, so it is available. So let's just do that once. And now we have the options here, so you can select between phone speaker, Bluetooth speaker. Now, if you don't know what Viper Fi Android is, go Google that because it's pretty big. It's a very, very excellent uh, equalizer tool for your device on Android and uh, it really does a lot of things for it so it does work out really well. Let's go back to the beta ROM and uh, see what all other options are available because this one does have a few extra options. In the status bar options you do have status bar height control. Now status bar height as of now you can see is the talk height option. Now if I select something else for example ASP24 DIP if I select that it will reboot the system UI. System UI has been rebooted let's go back to the uh, options you will be able to see that the status bar is now thinner and uh, I actually like it a lot because it uses less space that is my whole philosophy of using the ROM it does work out really well now status bar colors is also available you can customize the colors of it which is interesting to be extremely honest but I'm not sure if I like it in this regard but it is available you can customize that you have left to right uh, gradient options you have other stuff you can do it works decently well for most things you can also have a custom image on your status bar if you like that kind of thing which is cool I guess so it is available you can customize that not disable that because well I don't, I don't use much of it now other than that status bar mods are available it does come with a three minute battery and also three minute clock now if you are someone who uses three minute options it works really well so let me just show you guys so as you can see three minute battery is available and here are the settings for it you can customize that you can do a lot more things here three minute battery and three minute clock is pretty famous for being very customizable you can do that it does have a lot of options here you can customize the animation styles of it colors of it you can do a lot more stuff with it personally i'm not a huge fan of it because i think it uh, doesn't uh, go with the aesthetics which i want to have but it is available now also three minute clock is available as you can see i have enabled that you can also customize it to whatever you want you can have it on the center you can have it on the left side and you might have to disable the uh, stock clock but it is available apart from that you can customize how it looks and all that is available if you are someone who is fan of a three minute options it is really cool now you can also enable the circle battery if you want to have that uh, other than the three minute settings you can customize that and also there is option to customize that here also so you can select the text of it you can select the size of it it is really really customizable if you are someone who's coming from a usb rom this is pretty cool i really like that charging animation and charging alpha animation is also available which is pretty cool one thing which i do really really like is because the status bar mod are essentially mods most of the times what i see is whenever you open applications which has a light background it kind of causes issues with it for example if i open open up chrome as you can see it is black rather than white it does have that option because it is available here if you want to customize that it is also available here so you can customize it to your house content which is really really cool apart from that you also have the network speed indicator which is really cool i really like this option because it is one of those options which i really like in an AOSP rom because it shows me both the upload and download speeds which is really cool it also has options for it but the options here are a little bit more limited because it doesn't have the back background color changer options so for example when I take into a chrome for example which has a white status bar it just gets lost so you will have to use some colors such as gray or something it doesn't look very good when it comes to that so that is something which I would like to have improved so as you can see now it looks okay but now it just doesn't look in place so this is one thing which I really really want to be improved on the next version or something hey if the developer is watching this implement this option the uh, frame color and uh, in the light background option and dark background option into this option also because it should work really well now let's get to the other stuff navigation bar options are also available if you are someone who uses nav bar rather than gesture navigation which is really cool you have customization option for the height of it for the size of it you can change it to your heart's content which is really cool so if you want smaller buttons but so more real estate it is available you can customize that now the background color can also be customized which is really cool a problem with the oxygen os roms uh, is that the nav bar is always white in even in application which is dark so you can customize that so main color can be customized to black and it will have black nav bar all the time even if it is on a white application so that is really cool i really like that also you can customize you can have an image you can have an gradient there are a lot of things which you can customize with nav bar i personally do not use nav bar all that much for myself but 
I can see a lot of people being happy with it. Now, if you want to have the three minute battery or three minute clock on the nav bar, that is also something which is available and that is really cool. So if, for example, if you want the battery on the nav bar, you can have that. Or if you want the uh, clock on the nav bar, that is also available. Also, this is available. You can customize a lot available with it. These are options which are available with this. Even a analog clock is available. This was the first thing which I saw when I flashed the beta ROM and uh, rebooted the device. Wow, that was a bit of a shock for me. So it is available. You can customize that. Because the size is slightly lower, uh, you might not be able to see it, but it is available. You can customize it for whatever you want. As you can see, there is an option to enable the battery bar on the nav bar or the status bar. If I select nav bar, you can see on the top of the nav bar, there is options available. You can also change the color of it. If you want a little bit more muted colors, you can have that. Or if you want a little bit more alpha kind of a color, you can have that. It is available. You can customize it to your heart's content. It does have a thickness meter also, which you want. It does work really well. A lot of things in this ROM is very good and I find it hard to believe that I missed it on the first few days of using the ROM. Other options menu, you do have a few options. You can select the SLN status to enforcing or permissive. Few options such as Viper for Android does require it to be permissive. Not entirely sure of it in this version, but I have seen that. You have options to debloat the Google Play Store applications fully and also enable the Pixel Photo Storage. I don't use that. It only is available for a few years or something. Custom boot animation can be enabled, which is really cool. So you have the Pixel boot animation, McLaren boot animation, and also the Stock boot animation, which is interesting. So you can customize that from those options available. So use the calendar option is available if you want to use the OnePlus calendar instead of the Google calendar. So a lot of people do like that. Also, if you are from a country which does not have call recorder, you can enable that and it will work decently well for you also. Advanced reboot or menu on the power menu is also something which you can enable from here rather than going into the developer options, which is interesting, I guess. So yeah, now that is the things available with the Veta ROM on this version. As you can see, it does include a lot of extra options to our device and I really like it because it is a lightweight thing. It is only 172 megabytes. It goes on top of Oxygen OS. You don't have to wipe anything. You don't have to wipe your data. It works really well. I'm surprised more Magic ROMs are not available yet. I'm pretty sure that is the way going forward because it is so much easier to just enable, disable, update and all that. In case you want to disable that or if you want to uninstall that, go to modules and click on the delete button, reboot the device and all the beta options will be gone if you are having some issues with it. Now there is also a beta nuke option which is available. You can go check out in the forums below in the description if you want more information about it. If you want to do that, there is a zip file called beta nuker and you just need to flash that on magis modules options. It will show you guys a few options and if you want to disable everything, if you want to get everything back to stock, you do have the options for that. So yeah, I guess that much is it. Now regarding the stability, battery life and everything in between which I normally talk about during a custom ROM review. This is a magis module ROM. Okay, calling it ROM kind of feels like cheating because it's not entirely a full customized ROM but it also has system files which actually makes it kind of like a ROM. From what I understand, it is exactly the same as Oxygen OS. The stability is exactly the same. You're not compromising anything there. The battery life is also exactly the same thing. I didn't have any issues with it. The camera quality, the performance of it, nothing is hindered or for that matter enhanced by this particular ROM on our device. So it works really well and it is pretty damn good. So if you want more features on your Oxygen OS ROM without breaking anything, hey, this one works really well. Now I do want to compare this ROM to something like ROM Hour. I didn't try ROM Hour on the OnePlus 7 Pro, but I did try it on the OnePlus 60. What I didn't like about ROM Hour is that it replaced a lot of the stock aspects of the ROM, such as the clock options and all that. It kind of totally replaced it with the three minute mod. I didn't like that essentially because it kind of hindered me going back to stock options without just wiping everything and uh, reinstalling the stock ROM. This implementation is really good. I mean, you still have the stock clock options. You still have the three minute mod whenever you want it. Still have all the options which are available here and uh, it just works really well. I really, really like these options. I might even just use this as my daily driver for a long time. I use a lot of Magis ROMs. Renovate has been something which I use on a daily basis both with my 60 and also with the 7 Pro. It works really well along with Triplex No Limits which is another Magis based ROM. So these are the things which I've been using for myself and it just works really well. So guys, that is pretty much it about the ROM then. Hope you guys like the video. Please share, subscribe and like the video if you found it useful. See you guys next time. Bye.